Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create clusters and the SQL warehouses for the Unity Catalog to access Unity Catalog tables. So this video will be a pretty short video where you will see very how you can create the UC enabled clusters. And I hope you have already watched my previous video because these videos are in sequence on the Unity Catalog where step by step in each video, we are getting more closure to understanding the Unity Catalog. So let's move ahead and see exactly how we can create the clusters and the SQL warehouses with the Unity Catalog enablement. So if you talk about SQL warehouses, now remember that whenever we talk about SQL warehouses in the Databricks and we talk about the Unity Catalog, there is no specific command that you need to enable to make your SQL warehouse accessible to the Unity Catalog tables. So by default, whatever SQL warehouse that you create that will have access to the Unity Catalog data by default. So as long as your workspace is attached to the Unity Catalog Metastore, which we which you have already seen in the previous video that we have attached our workspace to the Unity Catalog Metastore. So as long as your workspace is attached to the Unity Catalog Metastore, whatever SQL warehouse you create that can access Unity Catalog by default. But when you talk about clusters, right, which you create to run your workloads on the data science and engineering workspace, in that case, whenever you create clusters, right, so you need to specifically check whether that particular cluster is UC enabled or not, is UC enabled on that particular cluster. Does that cluster supports you to read the Unity catalog tables or not? In this case, you just need to check whether your cluster is single or, you know, shared user. What access mode does your cluster has, whether it is a shared or it, is a or it is a single user cluster and does it have Unity Catalog enabled or not. In case your cluster does not have Unity Catalog access mode enabled, then in that case, you will not be able to access Unity Catalog table. So let's go ahead to the portal and see exactly how we can do that. So if I go to this compute option on the left hand side and if I click on create compute, right? So the moment I click here, you can see on the right hand side, there is something called as Unity Catalog. In this small blue color banner, you have something called as Unity Catalog. Now let's say if I go and if uh, I lower down my uh, Databricks runtime, does it have Unity Catalog enabled yet? Now if I go to 9.1, right, you can actually see that the Unity Catalog is no more enabled. Now if I come back to 10.4, then you can see that, okay, Unity Catalog is enabled on this cluster. Now similarly, if I go to 12 or I get to go to 13, basically you will see that the Unity Catalog is enabled. Also, if you see right now access mode, this is what I was talking about, the access mode is single user at this point. And just because it is single user, you can actually see that the Unity Catalog is enabled. Now, if I go to no isolation shared, you can actually see that the Unity Catalog banner disappears. So basically, whenever you're trying to create a cluster, you have to make sure whether it should be a single user cluster or it can also be the shared cluster for the Unity Catalog to be enabled on that particular cluster. So let me select a single user cluster and you know, you need to make sure that your runtime, you know, try to keep your runtime above 12, right? Because, uh, you know, all the time I have said this, that your uh, Databricks runtime version should be the latest runtime version, which is available or at max, the latest minus one, right? Similarly, if you check now ML versions, right? Now ML clusters, which, which has GPU uh, enabled, you can go ahead and check whether the Unity Catalog is enabled here or not. So usually if you, if I say try to keep your uh, runtime version 13 and above and always make sure that you are using single user or the shared access mode and check whether the Unity Catalog is enabled here or not. If yes, go ahead and use that cluster. Otherwise, you know, if you try to access data without Unity Catalog enabled on that, you will not be able to access the data. So here in this particular, uh, you know, the snippet, you can actually see that how different access modes 
are varying over the UC support. So you can see that single user, the UC support is enabled. Similarly, for the shared UC support is enabled. For the no isolation, uh, you know, access mode, which I showed you, UC was not enabled, right? Now, similarly, if you see over here, right, when, I, when we talk about dynamic views, now in case you're using the single uh, user access mode, in that case, dynamic views are not supported. So in the upcoming videos, we will also see what are dynamic views and how we can use them in the Unity category law right so these are the few things that you should know that okay always use access mode as single user or shared and you should also be aware of the limitations of both of these so i hope you like this video this was a pretty short uh, video on the uc enablement part on the clusters and when you talk about the sql endpoints when you talk about the sql warehouses by default whenever you create a sql endpoint or the sql warehouse uc is enabled on that by default so I hope you liked that video I, uh, and do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much for being till here.